your skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another part of Spook Season, but especially another video. Today, I'm with Super Panda. He has a channel, and he kind of did what we're doing today, uh, but it was two sentence. Today, we're going to do short horror stu stories, and we're just basically reacting to him. And, uh, but yeah, the ch his channel will be in the description. We're each going to read one. I'm taller than you, boy. <laughs> we're each going to read two, because they're both, they're, all of them are pretty short. So, I'm going to start with one. Uh, you just. I read that one. Don't look. Really? When? <laughs> it's, it's part of the video I have. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna do it. The child is scared beyond belief. He can't read the writing on the wall and he knows the man is under the bed. Like any child, he pretends that he's slept through the whole thing and hasn't awoken yet. He lays still as the bodies, quietly hearing breathes from under his bed. A hour passes, his eyes are adjusting more and more to the darkness. He tries to make out the words, but it's a struggle. He gasps when he finally makes out the sentence. I know you're awake. He feels something shift underneath his bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's actually so scary. <laughs> Wait, I haven't read that one. I know you're awake. Mommy told me never to go in the basement, but I wanted to see what was making that noise. It was kind of sounded, it, it kind of sounded like a puppy, and I wanted to see the puppy, so I opened the basement door and tiptoed down a bit. <laughs> I didn't see a puppy, and then my mommy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Mommy had never yelled at me before, and it made me sad, and I cried. Then mommy told me never to go down into the basement again, and she gave me a cookie. That made me feel better, so I didn't ask her why the boy in the basement were, was making noises like a puppy, and or why he had no hands or feet. That's just creepy. I don't... A man leaves his house every morning to walk to work and passes a mental hospital surrounded by a wooden fence. Every morning the patients are out and in the yard and he can hear them saying in unison, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. One day he gets curious, I said way too many times. One day he gets curious and looks through the hole of the fence. Suddenly a stick shoots out and pokes him in the eye. Ow, he says to himself. <laughs> Ow. Ow! While walking away mad, he can hear the patient saying, 11, 11, 11. Oh my gosh, that's actually scary. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a. Uh, why are there quotation marks around, he says to himself? They messed up. Who wrote this? No. <laughs> I'm <laughs> hungry! <laughs> I'm hungry. A woman survivalist and trained. Oh, a woman survivalist and a trained outdoors guide who loves to go solo camping. Returns home after two weeks of being in the bush and not seeing a single soul. Develops. What is this grammar? Develops her disposable camera film to find a roll of film with numerous pictures of her sleeping at night. On different nights, she has never gone camping or hiking since. That's just a lame it, one. Is, is this a, there was a story about how a guy was driving through the mountains. <laughs> no! <laughs> he came across a crash. The car wasn't damaged at all and almost deliberately placed in the middle of the road. He drove past and saw two people lying in the road. He pulls in front of the crash and looks to, and looks back to see the people sat up, and, or, and twenty or so eyes reflecting in his tail lights from the surrounding bushes. He slams on the gas and goes. The story scares me because this kind of thing does happen with mountain tribes who are either cannibalistic or crazy. I don't understand. <laughs> I hate it when my brother Charlie has to go away. My parents consistently try to tell, explain to me how sick he is. That I am lucky for having a brain where all this chemical slow properly to their destinations like rivers. When... I complain about how bored I am without a little brother to play with. They always try to make me feel bad by pointing out that his bo boredom likely far surpasses mine, considering his, he is confined to a dark room in an institution. I always beg for them to give him one last chance. Of course, they did at first. Charlie w had has been back home several times, each shorter in the duration than last. Without time, without fail, it all starts again. 
the neighborhood cats with gouged out eyes showing up in his toy chest. My dad's razors found dropped on the baby slide of the park across the street. My mom's vitamins placed by bits of the dishwasher tablets. Oh, shoot. The pa my parents are hesitant now, using last chances sparingly. They say his disorder makes him charming, makes it easy for him to fake normal normalcy. Being normal. And to trick the doctors who care for him into think he's, he's ready for rehabilitation. That I will have, that I will just have to put up with my boredom if it says mean safe safe for him. I hate it when Charlie has to go away. It makes me have to pretend to be good until he is back. I'm gonna be honest. So I only he heard like three words of that. <laughs> my daughter woke me around 11:50 last up. night. Did not say up. My wife and I had picked her up from a friend Sally's birthday party, brought her home, and put her to bed. My wife went to the bedroom to read while I fell asleep watching the Braves game. I guess it's like baseball. Daddy, she whispered, tugging my shirt sleeve. I guess, guess how old I'm going to be next month? I don't know. I oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! okay. This is actually scary. We shouldn't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> scary. <enough. laughs> I don't know, I said as I slipped on my glasses. How old? She smiled and held up four fingers. It is 7.30 now. My wife and I have been up for, with her for almost eight hours. She still refuses to tell us where she got them. Honey, watch read this. What? She's got, got what? Oh, four fingers. She got fingers. She had four fingers. Not four fingers, she literally had four fingers. <laughs> oh my god. You have to like really think about I watched as my soon to be father in law held his daughter's hand as we walked as he walked down the aisle. Tears streamed down his face as the wedding march played in the background reminded me him that in a few minutes he'll be watching me hold his daughter's hand and slipping on her ring. He walked over to the altar and took hold of her hand, grinning from ear to ear. It was the happiest day of my life. This actually looks scary. My bride's father got down on his knees and started begging. Please, I did what you asked. Just give me my daughter back. I glared at him. Shut up and you, and stop ruining their moment. You, if you sit back, to, back down and enjoy the ceremony, maybe I'll tell you where I've hidden the rest of her body. Oh my <laughs> Turn off the light! <laughs> oh my God! Guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's coming next. Probably another scary story video or something. Something's coming next, okay? Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.